Alright guys, timing. We're short on timing. We're short on timing. Let's get going. Alright, you ready? Guys, listen one second. If a customer does not want to buy a car today, just call me and walk him with it. Ah, there you go. Watch out. Everyone's getting married. Hey, what's up? La corta cerrada, what's up? Good, good. Good. Alright, everything's good, guys. Everything's good. Alright, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, Mr. Boron. Hello, sir. How are you? Oh, Christmas. You know the buy lunch, right? All right, guys, guys, let's, let's get going. All right, we, we expect to have a big day today, so let's get going, please. All right. Last month is over, right? Last month is over. First, first month of the year is out of the way. All right, for what it's worth, for what it's worth, all right, it was a down month overall in the industry, but you guys were able to pull it off with a few more units than last year, so congratulations on that, all right? Uh, top dog goes to Mr. Duan with 25, congratulations. Right. Uh, I believe you have a watch coming from your way. Uh -oh. uh, second place goes to... Casio, Casio watch. Uh, second place goes to... <laughs> Leston? No. Yeah, yeah, Wilmer. Okay, Wilmer. Yeah, Wilmer. All right. Wilmer. And third place is a tie. So they have to split the um the gift card. All right. So uh, it goes to Nia and Mr. Boron. Congratulations, guys. All right. So we're gonna talk. We got some changes, right? Pay plans are changing, effective this month. So we got a lot of things cooking, right? So. We get right to it. I know we had some meetings during the week, and we uh, we issued the the pay plan on Tuesday, so that way we get more or less. You know, I know you guys are not so good with change. Okay, so today the topic of the meeting is going to be what makes you a team player. All right, and we'll get into the pay plan situation right after that. I just got to get get this out of my system. All right, team build. Team build is basically putting a dream team together, right? For a vision that basically we're all on the same page, right? To get the goal, to get the, the big numbers, which is what we want. But a team player is basically someone that shares the same vision with all their team members. So whether it's in sports, whether it's in courses, whatever it is, right? The team is always for the team. So whatever you're willing to do is for the team. So. There's four categories in, in the team, all right? You have commitment, right? Which is the willingness to commit for what the team is trying to accomplish, basically. So you're committed with the same vision that comes from the top, right? The guy we work for, the team player, he, you know, you, you'll, you'll get the cars inspected, right? You'll go get a swap himself. That's a team player, right? You don't see owners doing that or own, owners going to the warehouse and getting cars clean for you. That's a team player, all right? So it comes from the top. Same way, trickle down to GM, FNIs, right? Sales managers, they're all in the same team because they believe the same dream that we believe, which is the vision that Bobby has and I have. And the reason why this store is very successful, if you notice, we have structure, but we don't really micromanage our managers. If you understand, we give them the reins, to do what they gotta do. We trust them, right? Just like when you pass the ball to somebody, you trust that they're gonna shoot that ball. That's why the team player is what it's about, right? Bobby doesn't really micromanage me per se. He says, I want this, this done, right? Here's the keys, do what you gotta do. I have my team players, my main players, say, guys, this is what we're gonna do, execute. That make sense? Mm -hmm. All right. Second one is communication. So communication is very important. Right, so, but it's also communication, meaning you, you can withheld that communication from your team members, right? Not sharing certain things with them. As a team player, you want to win as much as the, the guy next to you. So if there's a little tactic that you have that you can, you know, make it easier for them, share that information with your team members. So team players are very good on communicating, all right, if you want to be part of the team and helping others. Because at the end, when that car gets sold or when that ball gets shot, the team wins. Does it go down the block with the next guy? Make sense? Number three, cooperation. So if you're the guy that just said, hey, listen, man, I'm gonna do my job, leave me alone, this is what it is. 
That's not really a team player. You have to cooperate with what the team wants to try to get accomplished. Okay, this is, this is a team goal. Basically, everybody got to go in the same direction. You can't be an outcast. So, cooperation is very, very important. Okay, and basically, it's part of the success of the team. All right, and the last one is contribution. Okay, so contribution meaning you have to create results. Okay, without results, you're stuck. Basically, you're not going anywhere. So, 2018 was an eye opener for us, right? So we say, hey, 2019, we want to crush those numbers. So how do we get results? How do you come up with a paper that yeah, makes sense true. for the team? Not your top two producers or your top three guys. Because the team does not revolve in one person. This place is not successful because of me. Does that make sense? This place is successful because of all of us. Bobby, what Danny brings to the table, right? What you guys bring to the table. It's not one person. So the store cannot operate or cannot gear towards just the top producer. And if you're a top producer, that means you're an overachiever, right? That means that you're gonna produce regardless. So what we did was we designed a pay plan to focus on the bottom six, the bottom seven guys. But we also gave you the opportunity to earn more. So this is not a PTG or anything like that. This is the way how we came up with it. We spoke to the managers about it, but we also spoke to Bobby about it and said, hey, how are we gonna move the needle, right? By increasing the bottom guys to step up three, four cars extra. And that can get a little piece of the pie, right? So yes, we took a little bit from the top producers. We're talking about $250 here, right? We took a little bit from the top producers. Now, you got a guy who's doing five, six cars consistently. Now he can sell 10 cars, right? And now he can make a little bit of money. Cause now he hits his $500 bonus. He gets a CSI bonus. So he's gonna be more encouraged to go to hit that goal, to get that 10 car goal. Does that make sense? Yes. No, it's okay. This is not like a dictatorship. Please, it's open floor. Whatever suggestions, speak now. Forever hold your peace. peace. Okay, why? Are you a team player? I can't say no, I can't say yes. Okay, Ooh. hold that thought. All right, so you're speaking for yourself. We are selfish creatures. We are selfish creatures. Mind you, he does not come first once. I have to elaborate that. I'm sorry. Usually the guy that speaks the most is not really the guy doing the numbers, all right? But I always say, remember my rule. What is my rule? You speak as long as you back What is my rule? What is my rule? You keep selling me those. You don't care if you talk to people talk to me. Thank you. As long as you can back it up. 100%, Janine. So, I'm not trying to put you down or anything like that. But for $250, right? If you're a top producer, you shouldn't worry about, you know, the $250. You should worry about your team members, about your team players, stepping up and helping them get to that level. Because I believe you could be a 30 car guy. I believe you can be a 30 car guy. You close your mind a little bit more, you might be able to do more, but that's okay, we still love you. All right? That's, <laughs> yes, but sir, but that's, the, that's the problem. Yes, sir. That's the problem. Great. I'm in the bowling. Thank you, sir. Please, please. 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 The bowling. The bowling. Yes, sir. I think that's most of us main concern. Okay. In terms of the, um, the change of the pay plan. Yep. With the draw. Yes. Um, that has been a concern. Um, until we had two meetings about it. I don't yeah. think you were part of them. I don't think you were part of both of them. No, you were not in part of them. So we did explain it, right? We got to the bottom of it, and it was just a misunderstanding where the taxes were taken out. So if you want, I can explain it to you a little bit simpler. Yes, I could. Um, anyone else? Yes, sir. We shouldn't be talking about that on the Saturday morning. We should be moving forward and doing something else. I like so that approach. Here, yeah, I like that approach, it. but I also want to address it so we can move on with our lives. All right? I introduced it on Tuesday. You guys have concerns about it. We, 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 we got it. You understand? I, I'm motivated by not just money, of course, but I'm motivated because I want to do better, right? And my job as your leader, as your GM, is to help you and to push you to do more. So I'm not really concerned too much about the top producer, right? Because they're gonna do it on the regardless, you understand? And they're gonna win more because now you have the ability to make five bonuses on a daily basis, 
Now you got weekend bonus on a daily basis that you never had. So it's gonna wash yourself out. Trust me when I tell you, we did not do this to hurt the company. We did this to move the needle, right? Because if everybody steps up, five to 10 cars at the bottom guys, and now the top guys step up, that's only you get to those big numbers that we want. So, and those was a lot of things that were working in the pipeline. So, but we want to address it. Of course, we don't have negative meetings, but I don't want you guys to think that if you have a concern, it's not going to be brought up. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Anyone else? Look, you're good. good. You didn't um, explain. I, I wasn't here, so I was just like okay. to explain. Yes, I'm going to elaborate to you. Okay. It's going to make sense. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to elaborate. All right. Can you, do you have any questions? No. Jose? Good. You good? The one? You, you got it, right? You got it like in two seconds when you were there. So, all right, I, I'm gonna say, I don't know why out of the blue, because there was everybody saying they were gonna bring it up. Yeah, you meeting. weren't in the meeting when we discussed it. We were not in the two meetings that we had um, to, to explain this more, elaborate. Um, I get the whole draw thing, that's not my concern. If I can say I'll say it's not, I'll just say quiet. Oh, say it, it's okay, it's a free country, this is America. It's crazy, man. It's America, man. We know you wanted to say it, so just say it, man. It's the truth, look, I mean, team player, everybody eats, yeah, hell yeah, you know, I, I go with that 110%, because believe it or not, there's a lot more of us than there's a lot more of us that don't get there to that Very bonus part, that happy place in the car business, than those that do. It's like you say. So we're trying to bring up the bottom ones. So believe it or not, when you come in here and you're seeing 12, 15 co-workers and 10 of them got a sour face and they're all tight and they don't like looking like they want to be here, and that's a negative vibe that you don't want. And believe it or not, that does get to some people. It does get to your head. Because when you come in here all jolly and shit, ready to sell some cars, and you see seven people in the corner talking shit about you, you know what I'm saying? Oh, they messing up people and all that negative shit. I'm not going to say names. Okay. It's really negative. Yeah, I, got some, I got something I got to say about that. Go ahead. I got something to say. Oh, George, it's me. I like this meeting, by the way. I, I, I like to, it. When I used to sell cars back in the days, right, in Northern Boulevard, you had your used car salesman and your new car salesman, right? That's true. I want to do both. They used to throw fucking rocks at me at one point because I wanted to go get those five, six used cars to have in my month to get that extra month, right? Yeah. The biggest thing that people try to do is how to get you out of your game. Someone like me, for instance, I would come up and say, yo, Eric, what's up, kid? You? Yo, you look stressed out, bro. You all right, man? You look down, kid. <laughs> yo, you look stressed. Did you sleep last night? Go oh, bro, if you need me, bro, I got you. And then I'm out. But I made sure I got to your head. If a guy is negative, if you're telling me that someone here is negative, brush it away, bro, and walk away. So mindset. You see, Neon doesn't sit around and listen to anybody. He moves, goes to the next, goes here, goes there, does this, does that. If someone is negative, don't sit there, don't listen to it, just walk away. Bottom line. I'm gonna address it in this way, okay? Because as a whole, as a company, and I get what you're saying, all right, I, I do get what you said, believe me, and I respect that, your point of view. But the best investment that we can make is in our employees. I truly believe that, all right? So if I'm gonna be the type of guy that I'm just gonna replace everybody that came to the numbers, that means I don't believe in my team. Correct. You understand? Yeah, I can hire the top players. They're calling me, they're calling him, they're calling him everybody, right, Danny? Yeah. They're all calling, they wanna come here. So it's very easy to, to me to flood the floor. All I gotta do is tell Danny, yo, go ahead, bring those six guys, bring those seven guys. That's the easiest thing for me to do. And right now, I'm too busy that I can really just do that. But that doesn't make me a good leader. That doesn't make me a good GM if I'm not willing to invest in my own people, that they believe my vision at the beginning. So if I don't invest time in them, right, give them the tools, give them the opportunities, and say, hey, if you work this paper, you're gonna make more money in this year, right? So. If they step up, if I give them 60 days, 90 days, and in 90 days you still can't do the numbers, then you know what? At least I did, we did what we had to do to bring them up. If at that point it doesn't work because this store, with the amount of budget that we're gonna be doing, and you cannot do 10 cars in this store, that's shame on you, that's not on us. Right. Because the process is designed, okay, to sell more mm -hmm. than that. Correct. And that's what we're gonna get to those numbers. And remember, I'm a good numbers guy, right? Numbers don't lie to me, so I already dissect this nine different ways before I present it to the manager and the owner. So that, what I'm doing, we're investing in our people, okay? To get better. If you cannot distinguish that, 
from the negativity, listen, there's a lot of negativity coming my way right now, all right? And they actually interviewed me about that. Like, how do you deal with that? I said, they don't pay my bills, and I look at my bank account every day. You understand? So at the end of the day, you gotta find a way to just get rid of the negativity, bro. That shouldn't throw you off your game. There's a lot of things that goes around in our, in our personal life. I walk in here, I'm here to work. You understand? Leave that shit out of there. Bottom line, all of us are dealing with everything, with something. All of us in here are dealing with something every single day. Trust me. Just because I feel I look happy every day on Instagram, doesn't mean I'm going through some shit. I'm not gonna let that affect my performance. Does that make sense? 100%. So I hope it makes sense. Um, that's really how we can address it. I really believe in, in the team that we have. They're gonna take, take us to the next level, right? And now we got the new building, so we have to get um, some productivity out of there. So this is the way to go, guys. All right. If believe me, if in 60 days this paper does not work for the store, I will change it back. I will change it back. But you'll see the difference. You'll see the results. But the reason why we did it is because the tax season is right around the corner. We want you guys to maximize in this next six months. This is when we get paid. This is when we make our money. Okay. This is when I make my money, and the managers are gonna make their money. So they want to make sure they got their players ready to go. <laughs> that makes sense. Yes. Anyone else? One thing I'm gonna say, guys. Let's keep up the SSI. We're doing a good job. Very good job, actually. Let's keep it up. Whatever we're doing is working. We're under program. pressure to keep that SSI up. You know what I mean by SSI? What are the rebates for February? The incentives stay the same. Stay the same. Uh, okay. It's a little more aggressive when the eclipse cross. So we have a little more incentive. The managers will go over with you guys. We talked about that in the meeting today. Uh, and also, remember, I'm out of it, okay? Your managers are responsible for your bonuses, your managers are responsible for your spot bonuses on a weekly basis. So there's no reason why you gotta chase me or Bobby or anything like that. They make the decision, right? Remember, there's also rules in there that you gotta follow. Just like I said, in black and white, you do this, you get that. That's the way it works. But I don't think George or Prado is gonna compensate anybody coming here every day late to the meeting on a Saturday. I don't think Prado's gonna do that. Nope, not at all. I don't think Danny's gonna do that. Nope, not at all. <laughs> I'm just saying. Right? Just saying, it works both ways. Not saying anything, you know. Just remember that, it works both ways. Here we go, I got a six year old, a three year old, when the minute I'm up, they're going crazy. Want to just hang out with me in the morning on Saturday, but I make sure that I get ready to be here at 8.30. I texted you guys this morning, right? I was running late. Right? I texted them this morning, because you know what? It's accountability. I'm responsible for them, just like they're responsible for me. It works both ways. To keep in mind one thing, guys, it's a lot. We spent a lot of time and effort here. Yes. When I say time and effort, training, going over the way that the routine, the things that we want done, and it takes a lot of time to build and create a strong team like we have now. Just keep that in mind. We're here to stay. We're here to stay, but we also have to do a job, and part of that job is doing complying with everything, the rules and regulations of the store. Because trust me, I could be the best sales manager here. If I don't follow directions, you're gonna throw me out. Correct. It's not, it's very simple. So just keep in mind that you guys complain about this and that and the third, and like, you guys drive me nuts. On Tuesday, everybody just like, do me a favor. Go, go see Prado. <coughs> I sent them, I sent everybody to Prado. Any so, company you go work, everybody. any team that you go, you go and join, there are certain things that you have to do in order to be part of the team. You must be compliant, like Danny said. They have to be accountability. I'm accountable to this place, okay? Bobby needs to know if I'm running late. If I'm not, if I can't show up, Bobby gets a text message from me, okay? It's my job. Not because I run the place, I can just do whatever I want. It doesn't work that way. You put in what you get out, you understand? So that's the way it's gonna go. So. Embrace the new way. This is what it is. CRM, you gotta stick to it. You guys are 100% on the app right now. So six months ago, we couldn't even get one of you guys to do it. So what does that say? We can all do it, right? Now we've been told that we have to do it. Accountability. So you gotta get rewarded for it. That's what it is, bottom line. So we have 82 appointments for today, right? So good job, 83, so good job to the BDC. So we expect to have a really, really good month, guys. 
300 is really the number that we're looking for. So it's gonna be a short month. Remember, it's only 28 days this month. So you gotta capitalize on everything, okay? You don't have any escrows anymore. So when you got customers here, work those customers till the end. If you need to ping pong, bring them to George, bring them to Danny, bring them to Cheeky over there, whatever it is, because a Spanish customer, whoever's gonna close that customer has a better shot. It's sometimes just a different phase. Danny sends them over, George calls them. That's the way it works, or, or vice versa. Work the system the way that it's structured to close the deal. We have a lot of cars in stock. We have 18s, okay? Make sure that you're aware that we're showing an 18 to the customer. Because those are the cars you want to get rid of quicker, okay? Mitsubishi ends, the year ends in two months for them. That's how they end at the end of March. So you gotta make sure you push the 18s first before we show it a 19. This is gonna be a better, a better rebate anyway and a better deal to begin with. All right, so anything else from the f and or Rico, anything? Good, Steve? Good? Anybody? Cheeky? Yes, guys. That's good. That's good. Guys, guys, the last of all, please follow us the customer. Tassi Song is here. So go to dealer soccer. Figure it out, please. Customer that need to sign it, that need three thousand down, whatever, please. That's a customer that you supposed to follow up because the money is supposed to be here. In two weeks, simple as that. Yeah, Don't forget, yeah. please. Uh, cheeky, now, 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 Mandarin. Mandarin, uh, Cheshire, uh, please. Listen, we have seventy-five thousand off. Seventy-five thousand. All the team is working tomorrow. Tim B's on tomorrow, guys. All right, tomorrow. Sunday. Move your cars. Let's get it happen. Let's make it happen. Go move your cars. Not a holiday for guys. All right, let's go. We're going to kill it. We're going to kill it. Let's pay for it. JP, let's do it. All right, Saturday, guys. Let's make it happen. It is Super Bowl Sunday weekend. Uh, and I believe that uh, the Patriots are going to win. Vinny, come over here. Guys, I believe, listen, I believe Michael Jordan is going to win the Super Bowl. <laughs> Michael Jordan, guys, hold it for a Guys, don't, 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 don't listen to him, please. This is Yuka, Mr. Yuka. Plus our garden. In the house. Yes, yeah, so, Yuka. Guys, I don't know how to deal with this guy. Right? <laughs> uh, JP, let's get going.